I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia in July of 2014, just as I was living my life in such a pivotal time in my life. I was reading in the newspaper about this this kid who uh, used to play basketball, AAU basketball, uh, and there was a cool uh, commercial appeal article about Nick. Um, and then one day, about a month into treatment, um, he was. We were both trying to sleep in a clinic as our moms were talking and after we gave up trying to sleep uh, we just kind of woke up and we just started talking to each other and that's when our friendship started. He had acute lymphoblastic leukemia too and we were going through treatment about the same time. We were going through uh, some of the hardest parts of treatment through the same time and, uh, and it was just so good to have someone kind of my age. He's two years younger than me but basically my age. Uh, in a hospital where there's a lot of little kids. Um, but Nick saw that there was all those little kids playing with toys in the waiting room. Uh, and this is where his courage through cancer, uh, I noticed it first was he started a toy drive. Um, and that was December of 2014. And uh, he, <laughs> he just collected toys. He got toys donated. Uh, he got help from Matt Barnes with the Memphis Grizzlies at the time. Uh, and that turned into an annual ev event where there's a toy drive um, and it's just an amazing, amazing thing that a guy only 18 years old just had the courage to do that while he, was have, while he had his own cancer that he was dealing with. He's also a huge basketball star. Uh, he continued playing through treatment. Uh, I remember so many times where we'd talk about basketball in the waiting room where we just talk about how our lives are going and Nick's uh, brother and sister would come and just play with us and it just kind of took us out of uh, reality, which was so nice. Uh, I remember his mom wanted uh, him to start writing uh, poetry and then that became a musical, a musical talent of his. And we had a mutual friend named Hannah who's no longer with us. Uh, and we had special moments with her too. And one night, uh, Hannah encouraged Nick to come over to the Ronald McDonald house. And that's when he started freestyling and she really liked uh, how he sang. And that's how, how he started that his rap career. Uh, now he's known as Saint Nick. Um, he's for the teen art show at St. Jude. He was able to create a really awesome rap and I remember listening to that. And then I remember last year, he uh, put on a huge performance at a St. Jude event and uh, saying about his experience with St. Jude and uh, how it is to be uh, an older person at St. Jude going through treatment. And uh, it's, it's courageous and y'all better watch out. Like he's gonna, he's gonna be big one day. Uh, and uh, I'm just excited to see where he goes with his music career, his basketball career, uh, and just helping kids out like he's done. Uh, he's, a, he's a great guy.